So here we are at the mouse uh, with Triumph's fabulous new 2024 Rally Pro, the, the new 900 Tiger. And, and given that I did this sauté uh, during lockdown about four years ago, um, I remember riding then that, that that bike was fabulous and, and it really ate up the miles and, and it was kind of hard to work out how they'd improve upon it actually. And, and I did question at the time whether, even though I tested it and thought it was excellent, whether you'd want a shaft drive 1200 because this thing's about 30 kilos lighter. It's got 106 brake horsepower, but what they've done very cleverly in the interim is they've retuned the engine, they changed the firing order. So actually what you get now is a really smooth engine for distance work. It's, the torque is really linear. With, with the motorcycle. So I found myself on the way down, shifting up four, five to five, five, six, and then I'd bang it into the next gear. And you've got just instant, seamless, smooth drive. And given the fact that I came across a wet Dharma with those tiny little roads covered in leaves and gravel and all kinds of farm uh, detritus, then the bike had an extra level of safety uh, compared to, I would suggest, the previous model. And in fact, compared to most else that I've ever tested and ridden, um, Handling is phenomenal, brakes are fantastic, and, and also, you know, it's the creature comforts. Even though I try to position this, I guess, I see a lot of stuff with off-road riders doing raid-type stuff, but, you know, you don't have to be an off-road raid uh, racer to, to enjoy the Rally Pro. If you never took it off-road, I think you'd still get every bit of your money's worth out of it because it's a sublime tourer. After six hours in the saddle, I was able to get off in reasonable order, which for an old timer like me is, is pretty good going. So what have they changed on the bike? Well, the electronics really take it to the next level. I've got to say that because it wasn't a particularly nice day when I came down and you know, 300 plus miles in one hit, uh, albeit a brief stop on Dartmoor is, is a long way to go. But when you've got heated grips, uh, heated seat, when you've got the sat nav paired to your phone working really well. So you've got a large sat nav right where all your other information is. That's just a blessing to know how far you're knocking off the miles, fuel and all that kind of good stuff. And the sat nav is exceptional on this and really clear. So that, that's a criticism. You know, originally the Triumph's TFTs, I complained about the legibility for older people. I said for like the demographic are gonna buy them, the legends and detailing was too small, but they've addressed that in 2024. Um, shower suspension all round. You've got to say, I don't know if it's because the bike's quite light. I mean, fully loaded and gassed, I think it's about 230 kilos, but that rear suspension, uh, I pointed out to Kevin at Pure Triumph that when you inevitably get caught by a broken up bit of road or a pothole that you can't change your line to avoid because you're cranked over, for example. By the way, you do crank this bike over. The handling is exceptional for kind of a dual tire. Um, at that point, then, then it just floats over road undulations in a way that is both safe and comfortable. That's the, uh, I should be on there. I should be flying it. That's the um, Isle of Silly helicopter. Shame I lapsed my ratings. But I've got to say that it was fantastic to be here at Mausel on the bike, uh, on the quay. But this one's not just good, guys. I think it's exceptional. Um, I don't know how Triumph do it. They just keep making them better. If I had one criticism of the bike, it's, it's not really the bike, it's, the bloody EU that you can't hear the thing from an exhaust note point of view and I'm not sure you can get anything to change that unless you get into some serious illegal modifications in which case you'll have a lot of difficulty going through your your MOTs going forward on the other thing I'd say about it apart from being too quiet one of the real plus points about this bike is fuel economy because they they say 60 to the gallon and I'll tell you what that makes a real difference when you're on a 350 mile run each way uh, to, your, to your pocket at the end of it. So I'm going to say if you haven't thought about testing uh, the bike, then you, you really should because this should be on the shopping list. This reminds me of when I rode all those years ago a Multistrada and I had all the same opinions then. I thought this is just not an off-road bike. It's sublime on the road, handling, braking, performance, a general enjoyment. And um, Rally Pro is the same thing. Uh, and even though I loved the 1200 with the active suspension last year when I rode it up to uh, the British Scooter Endurance Championship that I was presenting, I'm gonna say, because of the weight of the bike and the ease of maneuvering or relative ease of maneuvering, I'm gonna forego the active suspension and I think I'm gonna take the 900 Rally Pro just as it is pretty much. Yep, it is that good.